Hey everybody, so this is Unit 3, Module 4, Session 3 homework. Uh, we're at the end of the unit. This is the review homework. So uh, make sure, as always, you're trying these on your own. You're making sure um, if you do have questions, you can press play. But make sure you try them on your own, like I said, and then press play just to kind of check your answers. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So find and label the location of these numbers on the number line. So you can add more marks on the line if you need to. So I know, well, let's count these. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put this at uh, 1.5 because it's five of them. So I'm going to find half between zero and one. Two, three, four, five, zero point five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 1.4 is greater than 1, and so I'm going to put 1.4 right here. Done. Uh, for 0.75, I know this is 0.7. I know this is 0.8. So my 0.75 is going to go halfway between there. Um, 1.25, well, I know this is 1.2, and this is 1.3, which is 20 and 30, right? So this is going to be 1.25 halfway between that. Uh, 0 0.2, so here's 5, 4, 3, 2, 0 0.2. 1 1.95 is going to be almost all the way to the end. This is 1.9 or 1.90. This is 2.00. So that's like 195 halfway between there. I'm not quite on half, but I think we're close enough for this. And then the very last one is 58 hundredths. I have 50. I have 60. So I'm going to say 58 hundredths. I'm probably a little bit off. Probably should go a little more to the right, but we'll take it. All right, number two. We're going to compare these numbers. Um, and I'm just going to go through them. They both have a 9. They both have a 4. Uh, this one has a 5. This one has a 6. So I think the 5 is smaller. So I'm going to put the smaller side. Um, 94 and 500. I can't even see my number. 598 thousandths is smaller than 94 and 643 thousandths. Let's look at the next one. Same 94s. This one has a 5, this one has a 0, so I think bigger. Um, same 94s, this one's a 5, this one has a 0, this one's a 9, so I believe that it's smaller to the left. Okay? All right, uh, I talked to a few of you about these next ones. They're a little bit confusing, not too bad. Um, so they kind of tell us the 5 right here, they talked to us about this up here. The five is in the thousand spot. So um, the three is like three times the three is in the ten thousand spot. All right, next one, the four is in the hundred spot. The six is in the ten spot. The seven, what do you think it is? Look at that one. The seven is in the one spot. The two is in the tenth spot. Or I could put it as decimal, zero point. I'll put the next one as a decimal. Um, F, uh, the one, is in the hundredth spot, which is the same as that, yeah? I'm going back to fractions, the next one. Uh, the nine is in the thousandth spot. It's one one thousandths of a mile. Okay. All right. Keep going. The whole grid is worth one, right? At least three different fractions and three different decimals. So let's start with the fractions. Um, the whole thing, we know it's 10 by 10 is 100. Looks like there's 80 of them. So here's my first fraction, 80 over 100. Um, same fraction, just I removed or divided by 10 is 8 tenths. And then what I could do is... I could double it or half it. I'm going to half it. Four fifths. Okay. I think the decimals might be a little bit harder, but the first one that's equivalent up here, look at these match, is zero and eighty hundredths. Then to match this one is zero and eight tenths. 
um, which is also equal to this one. Uh, and then I can just add zeros. Not add zero, sorry, attach zeros. I can attach as many as I want. Let's go like that. Okay. All right, next page. I like this one. Uh, here's a chart showing the amount of rain that fell in Bookerville um, over the last four days. They have a record of 12 inches in five days. How much will it have to rain on Friday to beat the record? By one tenth of an inch. So we can do a few things. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up all these. I'm gonna add up one, three, five, 2.50, 3.06, 2.49. I could subtract them all from 12. Look how it spreads out like that. Um, five and six is 11 plus nine is 20. So I'm gonna carry the two. Um, two plus three is five, 10, 14. Okay, the one. Bring that decimal straight down. Uh, one plus one is two, plus two is four, plus three is seven, plus um, two is nine. Okay, so that's how much rainfall in four days. So they want to beat it by a tenth. So it needs to be 12 and one tenth. So let's just subtract it, right? What do you think? I mean, we could add up to it. That would work too. Um, could add six tenths and add two holes and then add one more tenth. I like it. If I'm going to do the algorithm, look at, I line these up right here. I can't take four away from one. So I'm going to borrow and that becomes 11, seven there. I can't take nine away from one here. So I'm going to borrow and 11 minus nine is two. So I think the answer is 2.7 or two and seven tenths inches. All right, let's talk about Mr. Mugwump. Uh, still confused about fractions. One half plus one third does not equal two fifths. Well, oh, I might just do this. And you could draw a picture if you want. This is the way I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to turn them into, I know one half. Well, first of all, two and six meet up at two and three meet up at six, right? So one half of six is three sixths. One third of... Um, one third is equal to two sixths. And so that I believe is five sixths is my answer. So I just need to make equivalent uh, common denominators and then I can add them up. Okay. And that does not equal five sixths is greater than, way greater than two fifths. Okay. So that one doesn't work. It's five sixths. All right. I think I have time for the extension. I do, or not extension, the challenge. Sasha has one kilogram of grapes. So she gives 763 grams of grapes to her sister, Carrie. So let's see how much she has left. Okay, here's Sasha. She had one kilogram or 1,000 grams. Subtract 763. Um, ooh, I might just add, if that's okay with you guys. 763 plus 7. 770 plus 30 is 800 plus 200. So she has 737, 237 left. 237 left. That is Sasha. Okay, we're done with one. Sweet. Um, so the 763 carry then shares 598 grams of their twin brother. So Carrie, whoops, sorry. Carrie had um, 763, but she subtracted 598. Oh, I might add for this one too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to cross out the 5, borrow from it, 13, 5, take out the 7, 6, uh, 15. What is that even number? That's a 9, right? 15 minus 9 is 6. 165. I think Carrie has 165 grams. That's a grams. Okay, so the twin brothers. They have 598 divided by 2. Um, 598 divided by 2. So watch this though. 600 divided by 2. Well, that's 300. Right? But that's one off for each of them. Minus one. 
is 299. I think each brother, brother one and brother two, don't tell them I call them that. They each have 299 grams. So there's my thinking. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, take care.